Builders. Today I'm talking about a topic that I always get questions on and it's how do I earn a living while traveling the world? No, I'm not independently wealthy or have retirement income that I'm relying on. I work while I travel. So in this video, I'm going to share how the heck I make money for those of you who are curious. I'll also share five ways you can make money while traveling if you're interested in transitioning to a remote work lifestyle. Just a note here, I'm over 50 and I believe most of the ways I'm sharing with you today have a learning curve that those of us 45 plus can actually handle. Also, I create videos once a week with travel tips. So if you find that type of information useful, hit that subscribe button. Before we get into the details of how I make money, let me rewind a bit and share a little bit about my journey. Over the past few years, I've had a bit of upheaval, bouncing between states, exploring different cities, trying to figure out what I want my future to look like. It's been a whirlwind of changes, but amidst all that, I've found a way to work remotely and sustain my traveling. My next location, I'm gearing up for a month in Italy where I plan to indulge in art, wine, of course, pizza and gelato, all the while continuing to work remotely. So how do I manage to sustain this lifestyle? It all started during the pandemic when I, like many of us around the world, began reevaluating my career and my life choices. After 24 years being an independent contractor in a more traditional career, I felt burned out and I really wanted a change. At the same time, I wasn't sure I wanted to live in the city I was in. I was just questioning everything. So I gave myself a three month sabbatical. That turned into a two and a half year life exploration. And during that time, I rekindled my passion for writing. I had studied journalism in college thinking I was gonna be the next Diane Sawyer, if any of you remember who that is. But life took a different turn and I had a career in a completely different industry. Freezing for a few months in Wisconsin, I was watching the snow fall from the windows of my Airbnb and I began researching how to find jobs for writers and started exploring remote writing opportunities. As I was searching job boards, I found one that wanted writers with writing skills and real world experience in the industry I was currently working in. I applied, went through a few rounds of test writing assignments and landed me a part-time freelance writing gig. So thank you, Wisconsin, for your brutally cold winter <laughs> that put me on a new life path. One important detail to note here is that I work as an independent contractor, not an employee. I don't get a salary. This setup gives me flexibility, but also requires financial preparedness. Now, I knew this from my previous career because I was also an independent contractor, was self-employed in that career, but I wanted to pass along to you the importance of having a substantial savings buffer before leaving a job, especially if you're over 50, and diving into freelance work full time. That savings buffer provides peace of mind during the lean months that you will definitely have. I personally have six months of basic expenses in a savings account at all times. And I know that sounds daunting and it did take me a while to reach that goal, but it lets me sleep at night. So that's how I'm able to travel and work while I do it. Now let's talk about five ways that you can earn money while traveling. Number one is to find a remote job. So to find a remote job, first think about your current skills in the career that you have. Next, think of related fields or jobs that you could do remotely in that field. Think outside the box here. There are all kinds of remote jobs. The key is to leverage your existing skills and consider how they can be applied remotely. Websites that list remote jobs are a great place to start. You can start searching to get ideas of what types of remote jobs are available and what might actually work for you with your experience. Things like customer service, data entry, marketing, accounting, IT. These sites offer curated listings and allow you to filter by job type, location, skill level, all of those things uh, to make it easier to find positions that are gonna line up with your expertise. I'm gonna link three remote work job sites for you in the description below just to help you get started. When applying for remote jobs, you should highlight any remote work experience that you have, if any, and emphasize your ability to work independently and manage time effectively. Many remote positions require strong communication skills and the ability to collaborate virtually. So showcase these abilities on your resume or CV and cover letter. This will give you a competitive edge. 
Take the time to make a great impression so you can stand out as a candidate. The second way you could make money is through consulting. Consulting is a lucrative option for remote work, especially if you have specialized knowledge or skills in a particular industry. I considered this myself before finding my freelance writing gig. As a consultant, you can use platforms like Fiverr and Upwork to find and connect with clients. Many people search those sites seeking professionals in different areas. I've used both these sites myself when I needed to find a freelancer for help with my business, and I'll link them for you below. There are a wide variety of services offered on Fiverr that people want and are willing to pay for. Things like business development, marketing strategies, ad campaigns, IT solutions, so much more. As a consultant, you get to set your own rates and work with clients on a project by project basis, which means you can determine your location and your schedule. Before diving into consulting, consider that you should establish your business legally and financially. Consulting involves providing professional advice and services. So consult with an accountant or a business advisor that can help you determine the best legal structure for your business, such as sole proprietorship or LLC, and understand all the tax implications. Building a strong online presence through platforms like LinkedIn or a personal website will also attract clients for you. It'll showcase your professional branding and your expertise. You can also network within your industry, in person and through online organizations and groups to leverage referral opportunities and further expand that client base. Next up, teaching English as a second language. This is a popular choice for remote work because it offers flexibility and the opportunity to work with students from around the world. To teach ESL remotely, many companies require teachers to have a TEFL, T-E-F-L, Teaching English as a Foreign Language certification, which shows you are proficient in teaching English to non-native speakers. Platforms like TEFL.org offer accredited TEFL certification courses that prepare you for teaching English online or abroad. These courses are gonna cover teaching methodologies, lesson planning, classroom management techniques, all of those things that are gonna give you the skills needed to succeed as an ESL teacher, especially if you don't have a teaching background. When applying for ESL teaching positions, be sure to research different companies and their requirements. Some companies may prefer teachers with prior teaching experience or specific qualifications, while others provide training and support for new teachers. Networking with other ESL teachers and joining online communities will give you insight and advice about different teaching opportunities and help you navigate the ESL job market. Take a look at these Facebook groups when considering this opportunity and check out what others doing this job are facing, as well as have the opportunity to ask questions that you may have. Number four, freelance writing. So of course, I know firsthand that freelance writing is a versatile remote job option. It allows writers to work on a variety of projects and topics while having a very flexible schedule. Now, while you do have deadlines for projects, you get to choose what times you want to work your assignments and get them done. Freelance writing jobs involve content creation, copywriting, journalism, or technical writing, just to name a few. Like anything else, it's a job. I'm not writing whatever I'm interested in that day. I have assignments. They need to be formatted in a certain way and also optimized for SEO. So if you're interested in writing, you may need to acquire more skills. To succeed as a freelance writer, it's essential to develop strong writing skills and adaptability in different writing styles and formats. Familiarity with search engine optimization principles and contact management systems like WordPress, that's gonna help you land jobs and be more marketable as a writer. For finding freelance writing gigs, there are some job boards specific to writing jobs, and I'll link some of them in the description for you. These platforms list job postings seeking writers for blog posts, articles, website content, and more. Don't neglect your typical job search sites as well. I found my gig on indeed.com. So you should also check out a Poets and Writers website. They list writing contests, fellowships, and jobs for writers. Networking in person and online in writing groups with editors, content managers, and other writers, that can also lead to freelance opportunities and new clients. I belong to a wonderful writing group in the Phoenix area. When starting as a freelance writer, you need to build a portfolio of writing samples that showcase your skills and expertise. 
A professional website or a blog is also a great platform to display your work and attract potential clients. Researching current writing rates is also important so you know you're getting paid market rate and also learn how to maximize your earnings and build a sustainable career. My final way for making money is selling physical or digital products online. It's another option for generating income and working remotely while you're traveling. Now, whether you create handmade crafts, digital artwork, photography, or downloadable content like eBooks or WordPress themes, you can monetize your creativity and sell these products. Platforms like Etsy provide a marketplace for artisans and creators to sell handmade and vintage items, while platforms like Shutterstock and Adobe Stock allow photographers and artists to sell their images as stock photos. You can create digital products like eBooks and sell them on Amazon or create an online course to generate more passive income. With any of these online products, researching market trends and customer preferences is of course important. You want to create products that appeal to your target audience and not just things that you have a passion or an interest in. You also should build a brand identity and have a marketing strategy to promote your products and attract customers through social media, email marketing, and online advertising. If you don't have the skills in some of those areas, consider hiring a freelance worker on Fiverr or Upwork. <laughs> As I said, I've used both of these sites and hired freelancers many times myself. With physical products, you'll need to manage inventory, fulfill orders, and provide customer service. Digital products require a bit less hands-on management, but there are still crucial aspects of running a successful e-commerce business. There has never been a better time to use these amazing tools and technology that we have. There are e-commerce platforms with built-in payment processing and shipping solutions that streamline operations and provide a positive shopping experience for your customers. Obviously, this is a job. You are building a business. This is not passive income but it might be a legacy project for you that provides great fulfillment along with income. So there you have it. That's how I make money and travel. And also my top five ideas for you and maybe some areas that you haven't thought of and some resources for you. I hope you found these strategies helpful. Freelance writing has allowed me to sustain my travel lifestyle while pursuing my passions and exploring new destinations. I found that having a plan and a time frame that helped me to make the transition. Anything you choose will be a new opportunity along with new challenges. For me, I definitely experienced worry and questioning if I was doing the right thing. But in the end, I'm so happy to be able to support my remote lifestyle. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel. It really supports me in creating more content like this. If you do, please comment. I subscribed. I'll be sure to reply. Safe travels and until next time, take care.